Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I'm bringing content on clean beauty and skincare. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite skincare products for oily, acne prone skin, or really just fussy skin in general. I have both higher end and affordable options, so if you want to know what products are my favorite for acne prone skin, then keep watching and drink coffee. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna list the products in the way that I would use them. So starting from cleanser and then finishing off with sort of treatments. First off, the cleanser I really love is from Youth to the People. This is just the mini size of their green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. I do have like the giant size in my bathroom right now, which is why I just grabbed this little guy right here. This glass bottle, super handy. You could bring this like on vacation with you, but they also sell the bigger size so you could like refill this too. It has a little bit of a lower pH to it. So if you have oily skin and you just need a more clarifying cleanser, definitely recommend this one. It smells really great. Can't even smell it, there's a seal on it. But it smells nice. Used to the people's an amazing skincare brand. I think honestly all of their products would be great for more acne prone skin. This helps to clarify your skin, but it also gives you a really nice amount of nutrition. It doesn't dry my skin out. I have pretty normal to oily skin. So even if you have normal skin and you just have a couple spots here and there, I still think you could use this cleanser because it's not too drying. This is a beautiful product. Even if you don't have specifically acne prone skin, maybe if you just get oilier in the summer or just want more of a clarifying, maybe even a second cleanse, this one's a great one to check out. And then the other option I have, which is the affordable option, you can tell I've really been liking because it's basically empty. This is from Andalou Naturals. It's their Citrus Kombucha Cleansing Gel with Argan Stem Cells. Andalou Naturals is an amazing brand. I have a couple other products from, from them to talk about. Again, affordable, but really effective. One of the first like natural skincare brands I tried as well. So basically it says this has Argan Stem Cells and Kombucha Probiotics to Purify your pores and whisk away excess oil and dull dry surface cells for a clear, balanced complexion. So what this cleanser is going to do is basically gently exfoliate your skin. If you have acne prone skin or oilier skin, I would say you probably need to exfoliate your skin a little bit more than people with normal to drier skin just because you probably get a little bit more buildup if you are oilier. So this just does a really nice job. It is still gentle. You can use it every day. I actually was keeping this one in my shower. I think my boyfriend used a lot of this as well. It's a nice cleanser. Really recommend checking this one out. And of course, check out Andalou Naturals. Anything else from this brand would be great for oily or acne prone skin too. Next on to toners, I actually have three options here. First is the Indie Lee CoQ10 Toner. Really beautiful toner it is on the pricier side. I think it's so worth it though. It balances the skin so nicely. It has that CoQ10 in it. Really beautiful array of ingredients and it's really effective. I like to use this in the morning. I don't cleanse in the morning, but I love using this. Also use it at night. And then the other two options I have, one is the glycolic toner, and then the other one is kind of just like a mist. This is from Derma E. It's their Radiance Toner with glycolic acid and rubios. That's a type of tea, I never know how to say it. But this is an alcohol-free exfoliating toner that helps to tone, tighten, and brighten for a soft, smooth, and luminous appearance. I think glycolic acid is a great ingredient if you have oily to acne prone skin. I wonder how many times I'm going to say this in this video. Probably too much. But glycolic acid is a great ingredient if you get any sort of acne. Um, if you are sensitive to like chemical exfoliants, of course, stay away from that and just listen to your skin. These are just recommendations if you know these ingredients agree with you. Of course, try them out for yourself, see if they work for you. So this one I really like. I'm also almost done with this. I just like to pop this on a cotton pad. I don't use this every night. I probably do it maybe three times out of the week, but again, my skin is normal. So if you need to exfoliate more than that, you could go ahead and use this as much as you think you need. Just don't use it every single day with other exfoliating products. It's gonna be too much for your skin. You need to let your skin regenerate its cells before you buff them away again. And then the third option I have here is from Pacifica. This is their Coconut Essence Hydro Mist. This has coconut and caffeine, but it also has some witch hazel. It has aloe, it has vitamin B, green tea, really great array of ingredients. I think this would be great if you get oilier and need a nice toner. It's super refreshing. 
It has a really good mister on it for the price and it smells like coconuts. So beautiful. Pacifica's products just always smell amazing. Really nice option from Pacifica. I think it does a good job of sort of perking up my skin in the morning. Also, if you want to set your makeup with it, it does a great job at doing that as well. Moving right along to serums. I have two here to talk about. Start off with the pricier one. This is the Kipris Clearing Serum. I love Kipris' serums. Honestly, I think the Moonlight Catalyst, the Clearing Serum, or the Antioxidant do. I think any of those would be really nice for someone with acne prone skin. But if you have like specific problems with blemishes, I would say maybe just the Clearing Serum because it does a really amazing job at taking down inflammation. It really just soothes your skin so well. I love this serum so much. My bottle is actually empty because I haven't repurchased it yet. I actually just repurchased their antioxidant do. And I'm really missing this one too. This and the Moonlight Catalyst are just so good if you have problematic skin. I can't recommend these enough. They're super pricey, but if you want to invest in something, I would totally recommend these Kipris serums. The hype is real with that. And the other serum is definitely a more affordable option from Mad Hippie. It's their Advanced Skincare Exfoliating Serum. This has AHAs, apple stem cells, and Giga White. So not only does this help to exfoliate your skin, but it also takes down any sort of acne scarrings or dark spots you have over time. It's a really nice lightweight gel consistency. I don't find this pills with any other serums I use. So you could use like these two together or with any other serums you have in your routine if you're using like a vitamin C as well. Really nice. It says to let it sit in for 10 minutes, which, you know, you probably should. Also, if you're using multiple serums, a really cool technique is you could cocktail them so you can mix them together in your hand. And you could also mix in a toner and that really helps deliver the ingredients to your skin because when you mix it with something that's really watery like a toner, kind of helps to bring those ingredients deeper into your skin so they're going to penetrate better and just work better over time. So yeah, those were the two serums I wanted to mention and then I have quite a few like moisturizer type things and some masks as well. I have four moisturizer options. I have one oil and the rest are creams. So if you have oily acne prone skin and you do like using an oil, I love the Pi Skincare Rosehip Oil. Honestly, my favorite oil of all time and I've tried so many oils. This one, it's unlike any other rosehip oil I've used. It's honestly the best quality. You could just tell by the color, it's super concentrated. You need the smallest amount of this. And it's really lightweight, so it doesn't leave you feeling too oily or greasy. Um, I love using this at nighttime. I usually don't use it during the day just because I like something a little bit lighter. But I take this on my fingertips and kind of just pat it on where my acne scarring is, which is around my chin. And it's just miracle worker. Also, I've had this bottle for quite a long time and I'm still not done with it. So again, pricey, but worth it. On to the creams. The two, I have two like higher end options and an affordable option. So this is the Ursa Major Recovery Cream. I've raved about this product before. It's super nourishing, but it's lightweight. So if you don't want to use an oil, but you still really need that nourishment from a cream, this bad boy is so beautiful. It smells amazing. Just one of the most unique creams I've used. And I always say this, but I feel like it would work for any skin type because it's just so lightweight, but it also just gives you, I feel like everything your skin craves. I just love that so much. And then the other higher end option I have is the Juice Beauty Prebiotics Viola and Kumara Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. This would be great if you prefer a gel consistency and you want something that's super refreshing feeling on the skin. It has a nice, really light herbal scent to it. I love how it smells. It feels amazing on the skin. So if you do prefer a gel option, I really like this Juice Beauty one. This is just the sample size. They do have a bigger size of it. And then the last option, which is the affordable option, is another product from Andal Andalou Naturals. It's their Canacel Dreamy Night Cream. This cream smells really good. It's a bit of a thicker consistency. It is a night cream. So you might want to only use this at night. But it's also, I feel like it's light enough that you could use it during the day, honestly. It just feels so nice and plush on your skin. It has great ingredients, nothing heavy, nothing that's really gonna cause you to break out. 
Of course, read the ingredients for yourself. And if you notice something that you know your skin doesn't like, don't pick it out. And last up, I have four treatment-like products to show you. First, let's start with a mask. This is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Sensitive. Again, like I mentioned before, I find that if you have oily to acne prone skin, usually exfoliating, you want to really focus on getting good quality exfoliating products. This one is Juice Beauty's Green Apple Peel Sensitive. I got the sensitive version because the skin's not super sensitive, but it is a little bit irritable. So that's why I got the weaker strength of this. They also have the full strength. This is such a beautiful product. It's almost like the texture is a thick gel really stays on your face. It's going to tingle a little bit when you have it on, but when you wash it off, it's basically like you have a whole new face. Also great at fading sort of acne scars, dark spots, anything like that. Totally love that. And also I think this jar lasts such a long time. And then I have another exfoliating mask, which is basically the same concept as the Juice Beauty one, but affordable from Andalou Naturals, again from their Canacel line. It's the Glow Mask. Look at that texture. I love the texture of this so much. So this is basically just going to do everything that I described the Juice Beauty mask doing, but it's a bit more affordable. I can't stop smelling. It smells so good. So you put this on your face, leave it for 10 to 20 minutes, wash off with a cloth, and you're good to go. You're glowing. Great mask from Anna the Naturals. And then I have two sort of more clarifying masks I want to talk about. First is from Coco Kind. This is their chlorophyll mask. This is a powdered mask. That you mix in with water. I think it's just, yeah, it's spirulina, wheatgrass, corella, and lang lang flower oil. This mask I feel like I've been using for the longest time, honestly, since I first got into skincare. You can mix this with water or you can mix it with something like witch hazel, any sort of toner. You could mix it with like a Pacifica toner. Basically anything you want to. Mix a little bit of this up. You can use it as a spot treatment or all over as a like really clarifying treatment. I find this works really good at sort of helping with inflammation and evenness, but it doesn't irritate my skin. I actually found that I was pretty sensitive to like spirulina and mask, but for some reason this one doesn't irritate me at all, which is why I really love it. You could also use this just as a spot treatment if you see any sort of spots coming up. Put it on, let it sit, wash it off. Beautiful mask from Coco Kind. Last up, I have this mask from Gold Fade and MD. It's their facial detox clarifying and clear mask. Can you even see that? Not sure. This has zinc oxide, sulfur, and camphor in it. I found that my skin loves zinc if I get any sort of blemishes. This sort of looks like your classic, like when you think of an acne mask, at least this is like what I think of. It's like a really opaque sort of, it smells really medicinal because it has that camphor in it. It looks a little bit crazy on your face, but it's really soothing and clarifying. Kind of like the smell, honestly. Yeah, this is just the little sample size. They do have the full size on Pettivore. This just has some citrus oil, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, colloidal silver, which is great at soothing irritation. Same with the camphor. Also has salicylic acid and some clay in it. So if you need something like really heavy duty for some crazy spots you got, definitely check this one out from Gold Fade and MD. All right, so that was it for all my suggestions. I also have a couple other favorites that I don't have on hand to show you, but I love the Otisite Black Cumin and KG Put Spot Serum. That's amazing. Great if you have like cystic acne or anything that's like really inflamed. Great job at like taking that down overnight. And then I also have some couple other spot treatments I like. I like the Sunday Riley UFO oil if you want something with salicylic acid in it. I'll put all my other suggestions below, so be sure to check out the description box for a all the products I recommend along with everything else I talked about in this video. Alright guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video at any point, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Let me know in the comments what your favorite clarifying products are. I'd love to know and I love hearing from you guys. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.